Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play. Now, last time we stepped things up, we finished things off, things are going quite well, if I remember correctly. Yep, here we go, look at the goals. So, passengers still at 99%, mail 99%, food's going looking good at 92% now, goods at 99%, fruits even at 32 and that's our worst one. Um, unless you count building materials, but we're getting there with most things. Now... The town has been growing for 39 months in a row. Now, I'm not quite sure what's most important. Keeping that growing or whether we might have to prepare ready for alcohol. Now, fruit we do need to make sure is all good. Building materials I'm a little bit concerned about. So we're going to have a look at that first. 17% is a little bit too low for my liking. If we're hitting the 30s, 40s... Yeah, we'll need to look at it at some point, but it's not so much of a concern. But 17? Yeah, let's check it out. So, um, building materials are coming in on this line. There's currently no trains there. And it looks like it's all happening here at the building materials hub. So, building materials, we haven't got much building materials there now. This glassworks is the thing that's making all the building materials, and it's making it from sand and chemicals. Now, in theory, we should have quite a lot of chemicals um, coming in. We're getting chemicals from this um, bulk terminal, which makes farm supplies and chemicals, and that's just bringing chemicals straight in. Uh, we're getting chemicals out of our oil refinery, but, you know, there's no problem with our oil production that I know of. And we're also getting some sand coming from down here, which, as far as I'm aware, is still... Yeah, that's gung-ho... And what's this one? That is gung-ho as well. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. We're getting There's more chemicals over here which we're not taking anywhere. We're using it to get farm supplies. It might be a good idea to hook that in. So that is something that we need to look at soon. But before we start building anything... Maglev came out not long ago, and I ignored it initially because the reliability of Maglev when it first comes out is not good. Let's have a look at the trains. So if you go available trains, and we go down to the Leviathan, or the Lev 1, you can see its maximum reliability is now up to 84%. It's quite good. Okay, It's not brilliant, but it's quite good. At the moment, we are using... I believe... Which one are we using? Are we using the Asia Star? We're using the Asia Star for our trains. That reliability is going down, and that's at 85%. So they're just about to cross over between electric rail being better and then maglev being better. The problem when we switch over to maglev is everything is going to just crash. Not actually crash together, but the whole cycle that we've got going. For example, oil coming in to a refinery, making engineering, um, no, making chemicals that go to engineering, to make engineering supplies to go back to the oil wells, to make that whole loop process that keeps things fueled and keeps things either quadruple or double production, that's going to fall flat if we're not careful. But. Some point soon, maybe next episode, maybe the episode after, we're going to have to look at switching to maglev, but not today. So, building materials. Still need to think about these building materials. Um, what we'll do is we'll just spit, spit, split is what I meant to say. Um, uh, not monorail. Monorail, I always skip monorail in, in Let's Plays like this. We're going to split off. We're going to unpause the game so we can actually do that. We're going to split off a railway line over here, and we're going to see how close I can get to this terminal without causing too many problems. So, two tracks. We can pick up our chemicals from there. There we go. Now, I would like to do this, but then that would induce 90 degree turns here. So that's not good. Let's get rid of that. Try again. Move it back one. Flatland required. Okay, let's do this. There we go. That will do. Right, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. We can actually get a new service in. 
a new service for new stuff. Remove that. There we go. Looking great. Now, if you're wanting to play along and thinking, wow, you're so far ahead um, time-wise. I mean, in, I'm in 2023. Once I've decided that I've reached the end of this series, I'm still going to let you guys submit your Let's Plays to me through the normal ch uh, channels, and I will do then extra, a few extra videos after the series has sort of ended, where we look at yours. Um, we've been doing a little bit of that throughout the series, and um, yeah, that's been good, so we're going to continue to do that. So don't despair, don't worry. You've got time to catch up. Don't worry. So, go to the first episode of the series if you haven't already started, and all the instructions about how to play along and do your own is in there. So don't worry. Do it. Get on with it. Brilliant. So, we're going to copy... We're not going to blow up. We're going to clone one of these trains. Uh, not allowed to do that while it's paused. There we go. Now, this place is producing 72,000 litres of chemicals. We're going to tell it to full load here and then unload there. And we're going to make two of them and send them on the way. Brilliant. Okay, so that should help with the chemicals. Now, let's have a look. Have these stats updated? It's the 1st of September. They should update any second now. Or have they just... No, hang on. They have just updated. So fruit is down 27%. And we're still at 17% with the building materials. Remember, that's not how well we're doing. That's the amount that's in storage. So we're still growing. That's good. Still, no, Hopefully those, um, those supplies that we just hooked in will help with the building materials. I'm just looking around here to see if there's any more nearby. And there isn't. So that might have to do for now for those building materials. Uh, what did I say was next? We're going to have to start getting alcohol in. Right. Now, one viewer asked if delivering fruit to one point in Hellishville, i.e. a brewery, would be cheating if you then moved it to another point in Hellishville, i.e. a grocer's shop. Now, from my point of view, no, that's just using your noodle. However, I'm not 100% sure if the script will accept something from inside the city going to the city. We'll have to see. We can set it up and get it running anyway. We're going to use road vehicles for this because it's a short distance. Uh, it's going to be nice and easy to do. So we're going to put... If I get the right thing, we don't want passengers. So if we put um, a road depot here, that's going to pick up the alcohol. And then if we put another one here... That is going to accept the alcohol. And then what we're going to do is give them a nice little route. So we're going to say that these ones are all one-way streets. And this is a one-way street. And this is a one-way street. So is this one. We haven't got any bus routes going through here. So we've got none of that to worry about. What? Has that got a junction? Owned by Hellishville. Okay, so we can't do all of that. Uh, I think I've done enough to force it to go around in a certain direction. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have... We'll have the depot here. We'll get a new vehicle, and we need to get... Um, what is it that's going to carry it? Is it going to be the oil truck? Is that alcohol? Refittable to alcohol. Brilliant. We'll get the Perry oil tanker. We'll refit it to alcohol... We'll say, go to this place, full load, and then drop it off here. Done. That's it. Alcohol was never going to be any more difficult. We're going to get ten vehicles, send them on the way. Now, alcohol will depend on fruit income, and fruit income isn't great. Uh, if we look at how things are going now, fruit's back up to 32. Building materials has climbed to 20, so that's good. Remember, with this Let's Play... These requirements go up as the city size goes up. So once you get to 7,000, you'll find that you need more passengers, you need more mail, you need more food. And once you get to... The more the bigger the population, the more you need. So these will always get more and more difficult the more you play. Uh, which is brilliant in some sort of way. 
So, now, in theory, we're finished. That's it. We could end right now, in theory. Um, the town is currently growing. It's currently got 6,442. We could actually afford to... Um, I think I disabled make the town grow grow by clicking grow. Um, but yes, the town is growing. It's going to get bigger. It's going to hit 7,000. When it hits 7,000, we're going to have alcohol already in there. As long as the script allows it, I'm really interested to find out. I'm sure we'll find out before the end of the episode, or at least I hope so. Um, so what we need to do is keep this going. Okay, We're going to have the conversion to maglev at some point soon. There's some fruit coming in right now into Hellish Village. So that means that Old Telish, Hellishville Town Hall, which we're going to rename, that's Old Hellishville Brewery, or Hellishville Brewery, E W Brewery, there we go, and that's going to Hellishville South, which is actually the grocer's shop. So, Hellishville Store, there we go. So, we've got the trucks going round, they're going to make a little bit of money, maybe, we'll see. Um, I don't know how much we've had of that being delivered. The goals list will up, will have just updated. Petrol's dropped a little bit. Building materials has dropped a little bit. Quite a few things dropped last month. Um, and building materials is still a concern for me. Uh, we've got a lot of trains around here, but that's okay. I expected this area to be busy. Um, right, we need more building materials. So, this place needs sand and it needs chemicals. What around here can supply sand and chemicals? Let's switch to industry mode. Disable all the industries and just have a quick look at the uh, industry directory. No, not the directory, silly me. The industry chains. And we're going to select sand. Just to double check that we're getting everything. So sand comes from a quarry or a dredging site. So if we turn on... Uh, where's quarry gone? The fact You would think that these being in alphabetical order would help, but when you have the sort of reading problems and stuff that I have, it's not easy. It's not easy. But I just carry on anyway. Right, there's a queue in there somewhere. Oil wells, PP, MNOPQ. Oh, there it is, quarry. Brilliant. So that's the quarry in the dredging site. What's the other thing it takes? The other thing it takes is chemicals, which is a little bit more difficult. Chemicals come from either a lime kiln, an oil refinery, a bulk terminal, or a biorefinery. Now, biorefineries, lime kilns, and oil refineries. Um, are all secondary industries. Bulk terminal is kind of a secondary industry, but it does produce it anyway. Um, the, we've got an oil refinery nearby, and there's got, I think we've got bulk terminals. So let's turn on the bulk terminals. Let's turn on the oil refinery and just have a good look. Okay, so in the direct vicinity, we have one, two, three, four, five industries supplying for building materials. And that's it. Um, there is another site just down here. There's a sand bank just down here. That's not far away. How much sand is it producing? 108 tons, I think that was. How much is that compared to the one that we've got over here? That's quite good. That's that's like double. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, what are the what are these? These are bulk terminals. We've got a couple of bulk ter bulk terminals. These bulk terminals are, um, are providing farm supplies, but we could steal the chemicals from them and sort that out. In fact, what we might do is just do a little railway line that takes chemicals from these two, dumps it in over here. Let's do that now. Right. So, line here. Uh, not allowed while the game's paused, and a line, where is it, where's the other one, there, um, there, right, okay, let's get in there and speed build this as quickly as possible, nice simple tracks, nice simple direct route, 
Um, there we go. Get a depot on it. Why not have two? Not literally. Uh, where's the other one? There's the other one there. We're going to have to come forward a little. Not that far. Oh, what a noisy place my house is today. I've got the hamster going round in the wheel. The washing machine's going on in the kitchen. Perfect time to record a video, Hellish. Perfect. Um, and we want to get to somewhere around here. This Wanborough sidings. I kind of want to build a second set of platforms. So if we do a spread station with Wanborough sidings. Bring the railway tracks this way. That should do the trick. I mean, the bulk terminal now has next to no water, but I'm not that bothered. <laughs> okay, so that's that bit. We need to get round this city. Um, I kind of feel like just doing a massive diagonal. Um, the trucks are arriving at Hellish Store. We're getting colour newspapers now, which we've been having for 23 in-game years anyway. Let's get this to about... Oh, that's the end of the year. We'll have a look at the stats in a minute. Let's get this to there. Get rid of that. Right, let's have a quick look. So, everything's at 99 apart from food's 93. Not too bad. Ah, look! Building materials went down to zero. Not growing for one month. We lost our run. We lost our run. Ah, uh, Hellishville has gone down in size, but presumably that's to build some bigger buildings. So that's okay. Fruit does need sorting out because that's going to provide our alcohol. But we're working on the building materials now. So the bad thing is the one thing that we are actually working on. Okay, so let's carry on. Oh dear, oh dear. We'll get these chemicals in and it will help. There we go. Let's just do that. And I tell you what, when we move to Maglev, that will probably help as well. You're thinking, how will that help? It will make more efficient routes. Trains will be able to zip zip around a lot better. Uh, do I need to change the land height? Yes, I do. We need to go up one. There we go. Or do we? No, we don't. That goes back down again. Silly me, that was my eyes. Maybe I need to go and have my eyes checked. I could get my wife to do it. She's a dispensing optician. Did you know that? Some people did. I do. It's a good job I know what my wife does. There we go. Right, so... And then this bit can come along to about there. It's not perfectly... It's not like the most direct route, but it's nice, it's neat... It doesn't go up and down hills too much, if at all, actually. I think it's all on the same level. Let's get some signals in. Cross that there. These chemicals will help. Help fix the building materials crisis. At least we're getting alcohol in now. That was like the easiest one we've ever done, isn't it? Okay, so that's all in there. And then we've got the signals here. Right! Brilliant! Okay, let's get a load of trains. We'll clone this train and we'll change all its orders and we'll say full load over here then go here and then the important part transfer brilliant transfer and leave empty we'll have two of them going we'll send them on their way and then we'll clone the train again and i'm not holding control when i clone because if i hold control when i clone it's going to do shared orders, and we don't want that for these ones, because they're going to a different place. Go to there, go to there, and again, transfer, and again, we'll have another one. And on that occasion, I did hold control, so train 200, uh, sorry, 402 and 422 are clones, they're shared orders, and away they go. These two trains here seem to be quite busy as they are. They're going to get even busier with the extra stuff that's coming in. They don't have to go far, but I'm going to put a third one in anyway. And that third one should wait in a good position, and it should be fine. Right, let's see how things are going. We've had a couple of months go by. Or have we? No, we've had three months in a row with no building materials. What's going on? Where are my building materials? Actually, there's a train on, train on the way with some building materials. In fact, there's... What's that? 
an empty train of building materials for some reason. Unknown. Right, we've got a load more fruit coming through. Some of them are going to the depot and back again, that's fine. They can do that for all they like. Right, we need to make sure the building materials are at 100%. We've got loads of trains coming through for the goods, which is alright. Um, ooh, this might be part of the problem. Mm, we've got... Hellishville Woods. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? We've got trains that are supposed to be doing engineering supplies from the petrol hub. Yeah, we've run out of engineering supplies and they're on the wrong line. Why are they on the wrong line? Where are you? Implicit orders, Hellishville South. What's wrong with going to Hellishville South? There's engineering supplies racking up there. That's not a problem. Oh. Were they supposed to go to Hellishville Woods? I think they might have. have a look at the orders it's gone a bit crazy oh right all of these ones are this is why everything's gone wrong this is why everything is going wrong for some reason I made these trains go to Hellishville South and I didn't tell them to I changed the place that they were going to So they want a full load here, go via E, which is, or is it ES? ES, and then through the petrol hub. Right. So we haven't been having engineering supplies coming into our oil refinery, which means we've been having less oil, less chemicals, less chemicals means less building materials, and that's why we've had zero building materials. Because the only stuff for building materials are coming from these supplementary areas. Because the engineering supplies is broken. The whole system's terrible. Right. That should be fixed now, though, I think. we just take a quick look at some of these. Yes. Mm. Okay, it's going to take a little while for those trains to sort themselves out. Effectively, I believe that this station is now completely not used. This is an unused line. It's because the goods line and engineering supplies were getting so busy that I put this new set of station in and directed some but not all of the trains. Where's this one going now? See, that one's now going to Hellishville South to load up. I bet the ratings are terrible. Engineering supplies. Oh, for some reason they still think we're very good. Okay. That should help fix that problem. Alcohol seems to be going through. Um, I'll be interested to see... Both, look, look, petrol's gone down to 77% as well. Right, I'm going to assume that building materials is going to be fine and that petrol is going to be fine once this whole section gets itself going again. Um, fruit will probably be next episode. Fo probably then closely followed by Maglev. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can do a little bit of fixing up and checking in between episodes, make sure everything's running smoothly, and I will see you next time. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I certainly have. Um, remember to follow me on social media and on my website to find out what's going on with videos and, and events and the game giveaways. I do game giveaways on social media and on my website, so check that out, and I will see you sometime soon. Leave all your thoughts, ideas, and questions down in the comments. But for now... Goodbye.